Well, let's take some time now to talk about death. It isn't something people tend to like to discuss, and it certainly isn't something that they spend a lot of time thinking about. But 3,000 inmates in the U.S. are currently being forced to contemplate the end of their own lives and exactly when and how it will happen. The men and women on death row. 23 have already been executed this year, and another 700 are currently waiting. But that wait could be a little longer. You see, states across the U.S. are running out of one of the most common drugs in the deadly cocktail used to usher these inmates to the afterlife. Texas, the execution capital of the world, is expected to run out of its supply of pentobarbital by September. And it isn't alone. Georgia, California, Missouri, and Ohio are experiencing similar shortages. Now, the reason for that is because Danish drug maker Lundbeck announced in 2011 that it would no longer supply customers with the drug if they plan on using it for executions. The company argues that the drug is meant to save lives and not end them. Denmark, after all, abolished the death penalty decades ago. This is forcing prisons to find other government-approved ways to execute inmates. Vietnam is experiencing a similar shortage. There are talks in that country of returning to good old-fashioned firing squads. Utah still offers that option to its inmates. In fact, last year, Michael Archuleta chose to die that way, though the state eventually stepped in. Propothal is quickly becoming the alternative drug of choice. Meanwhile, some states like New Jersey and Illinois are getting rid of the practice altogether, though not necessarily because of the shortage. Right now, each execution costs almost a million dollars. Numerous surveys have found that it is cheaper to imprison someone for life than to execute them and end their lives early. But the reality remains that if these states are desperate enough, they will find a way to execute inmates by lethal injection or not.